Hi, this is Eric, and today I'll be taking you through a quick tour of the 3D ducting in MacQ. MacQ is also an add-on for AutoCAD, LT, BricsCAD, ZWCAD, and other CAD applications. First thing you want to do is check your drawing settings and make sure that you have endpoint and node turned on. And here up in the upper toolbar we have the ducting, and then on the left side I have the snapping tools turned on. These are helpful. So here we're loading the duct draw utility. We're also looking into the connections configuration and changing our ducting intervals to be 36 inches long. And in order to do this, make sure that you have the end connections turned on. Just a matter of entering in two points in isometric view. And now we're going to be drawing an elbow on the left side of this run. The first point is snapped to the node and then we're pointing our cursor in the upstream direction. Make sure that you have ortho turned on to achieve a straight line. We'll also type F for face and the elbow inserts. Let's go ahead and turn the shade mode to 2D wireframe. This way we can see the nodes inside the drawing a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and put a 4 inch branch on. So again I'm going into the upstream direction with my first two points. I'm locating the branch by just keeping my ortho mode on and typing in 18 inches. And then I'll point my cursor to tell MacQ the branch direction. I'll also tell MacQ the width and the height of the main duct and then the branch is inserted. Next I'll be creating a construction line coming out of this branch. There's several ways to do this, but for now this is the most straightforward for this video. And then we'll come into our duct diffuser utility and we'll select the endpoint and then rotate that in there. And now we'll go into the accessory menu and select flexible duct. And we'll just trace over the construction line. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that construction line by turning the flex duct layer off. Okay, and last we'll go ahead and put a T in. And here you'll see the icon upper left, and that correlates with the size one and two here. Again, we'll just snap to the node at the end of the duct and then point our cursor into the upstream direction. So that completes this video and I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to call me 888-271-7121 or you can email me at info at cadavenue.com and make sure to drop by our website at www.cadavenue.com have a look at some more videos there. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like this video and sign up for our YouTube channel. Have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.